Hello, hello, it's Tony here. I recently quit using these type of filters in Excel. Filters are okay until someone changes the data. You see, the results don't update automatically, which could prove costly. Imagine if this was a list of people who were entitled to a bonus, but the business ended up overpaying because the filter results didn't update with this change. To be confident the updates are captured correctly when filtering data, you need to use the filter function. The filter function is great for three reasons. It's dynamic. When I change the data, the results update automatically. When you add a new row, this too will be included in the results. You can filter more than one column at a time. You can also nest it into another function like count. In this video, I will show you how to do all of this plus how to solve these errors. Are you ready? I know I am, so let's go. For best results, convert your data to a table by pressing Ctrl T. I'm gonna change this color and switch off these filters to avoid confusion. I then rename this table to employee details. This just makes it easier to identify later. Next type equals, then filter. First thing you need to do is select the table, which you can do by clicking here when you see this icon. We want to find everyone who works in facilities. So you select the department column, enter equals, then click this cell. You could type facilities straight into the function, but it's easier to update when you use a cell like this. Close off the brackets to complete. Here are the results, but notice it hasn't brought through the headings or formatting. However, this is easy enough to add ourselves. Remember the filter is dynamic. So if you change this cell, it will update the result. You can amend one of these cells and again, the results are updated. And because this is a table, if you add someone to the list, this too will update the results. If you're finding this video useful so far, please give it a like so it can reach more people. You can filter more than one column at a time. Better still, you can create a drop down list like this. To do this, create a list on a separate sheet like I have here. Then click the cell where you want the list to go. Go to data, select data validation, click here to select a list. Then from here, select your list and click OK to complete. In this example, we're looking for people who work in the facilities department and who are located in Smallville. To filter more than one column, we again start with the filter function, but this time after we select the table, we need to add a bracket after the comma. Then select the column we need, enter equals, click this cell, and then close the brackets. To filter another column at the same time, enter a little star like this, or the plus sign. The little star means we need to find both the facilities and Smallville, whereas the plus sign means we're looking for facilities or Smallville, which would give us different results. After this, we open the brackets, select the location column, enter equals, and then click this cell. Close the brackets. We need two at the end for completion. We now have a list of the people who work in facilities in Smallville. Question, can you filter values? Yes, you can. In this example, I want to see who is earning more than 70,000 pounds. So this time I enter the more than symbol and select this cell. Close off the brackets, press enter to see the list of people who earn more than 70,000. I mentioned at the beginning that one of the benefits of using the filter function is that you can nest it into another one. For example, I want to count how many people are in these results. All you need to do is enter count here with a bracket and then close the bracket at the end to complete. And here is the total count. From time to time, you might see these errors. This is how to fix them. When you see hashtag calc, this means the filter can't find a match. You can make this error clearer by entering a message here. Your message can be anything you want. When I change the location, we now have the results. When you see the spill error, this means there isn't enough space for the results. In this example, this text is blocking our results. To fix this, all we need to do is move or delete this text, and now we have our results. If you're not using XLOOKUPs, you need to check out this video here. Are you ready? I know I am, so let's go.